Welcome back Seabasters to another episode of Cooking with Seabass. Today, we're cooking good, healthy ice fishing snacks. Yeah, you're getting tips, nutrition from a fat guy. Deal with it. I love ice fishing and I love eating just as much. Ice fishing and eating go together. If you're out there and you bring a granola bar, some cold food with you, everything pre-packaged, get out of here. This is for those who like cooking on the ice. Cooking on the ice is always good. You can have some warm food in you, warms you up when the fishing's a bit slow. You know, you don't think about going home, you're not starving, you can focus on the fishing. So today, what well, we got some special. I've actually never cooked it, but it's delicious. We are cooking a, a warm meal that's hearty. You're gonna get your fats, you're gonna get your protein, you're gonna you get your vitamins. And it's super easy. You don't need anything else but a buddy heater to cook it. So stay tuned, stick with me, and let's go. So here's what you're gonna need. Brussels sprout, disgusting. Onion, good. Bacon, asparagus, two cloves of garlic, and a good knife. We got our ingredient, we got a pan, I'm using cast iron on low. Cast iron, low. Don't mess it up. I shouldn't be teaching you guys on how to cook bacon. If you don't know how to cook bacon, I don't know how you're still alive. Today, on Seabass Outdoors, we have the Fax Premium Quality Lager Beer. Pretty good. If I need to teach you guys on how to cook bacon, we got a problem. As always, we're using butter. If you're one of those guys using margarine, go watch Fishing the Flats with Henry Washchuck or something like that. You definitely have something better to eat. So we're gonna put butter in the pan. We're gonna cook the bacon first. So this is like a manufacturing process. I'm making a big, big batch because I want it to last me the whole weekend. So I'm gonna pre-cook my bacon. What do you guys think of this view? It's pretty good, eh? Makes me look skinny. Good, top-notch quality bacon. In this case, from Costco. Product of Canada, gluten-free, good for my stomach. This one's infused with maple syrup. You don't need to be using infused with maple syrup. Whatever bacon you prefer will work for this recipe. Sure, my butters are all over the place. Put a cover on it. Quit bacon with cover on it. But if I don't put a cover on it, that's all we're gonna hear. It's gonna smoke up everywhere. Let it cook low and slow. Garlic is good for you. I know that, I Googled it. I want to mince, is that a word, mince? Mince. See, you can tell I'm watching Gordon Ramsay. I put it to the side. Now onto the asparagus, pretty easy. I don't want a lot. This is your side dish. Very easy to cook, very easy to reheat. Now, when you're doing asparagus, this is me, and I'm gonna judge you on this. If you eat this part, you're disgusting. Cut them up right about here, where it gets less fibery. Throw it in your trash. Any, any kind of onions work great. Peel it up. I'm gonna try not to cry like every time I watch Titanic. I don't know, I don't know why I let go. There's enough space on that board. You know, that's and women want equality. He let go. There was space on that board. Where was equality on that? Poor Leo, throws his nuts. So, just like the garlic, we're gonna mince or whatever, chop in small quarters, the onions. Screw this knife, it's way too small for the job. Get the big bad boy out. That should be good. You know, one small onion should do. You don't wanna overkill kill the taste. Onions, just a side taste, you know? Put it to the side. Now, so, now our most important piece to this dish, the most disgusting one, but trust me on this, it'll taste good at the end. Brussels prep. I hate those things. You're supposed to wash them, but I like the dirt vitamins that come on it, so we're gonna skip that part. As they say, if you catch a disease, that won't go away. Catch it once, can't catch it twice. Now the Brussels sprouts, we're gonna cut them in half. Not small pieces, just in half. Yeah, that's a lot of work. For all you women in the kitchen, praise to you. Now I know how hard you guys work in the kitchen. I love you, mom. I can't believe I'm cooking a dish with Brussels sprout. Almost want to vomit already. Just kidding, it's gonna be good, guys. That seems about right. Quantity I want to eat. Obviously, your main food ingredient here is Brussels sprout, so it's gonna overtake everything else. Don't worry, the taste of bacon is gonna infuse with the Brussels sprout. It's gonna be al dente. Wait, that's for pasta, right? Yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Good eight. Manja manja. 
So cooking that bacon, low and slow. You don't want to make it too crispy and hard. You're gonna do that, mash those cooked cardboard, eat it up, it's gonna taste like chard. Low and slow, make it soft, make sure it's cooked, the fat is gone a little bit, but you wanna leave some of that fat on, it's good for you. Leave the grease, into the bacon in the pan, you know, obviously scoop what you can out. Once you got the bacon out of the pan, you leave the oil residue from the bacon. Put your, put your onions, put your garlic, now, remember I got one end holding the GoPro, so it's not as easy as it looks. Stir it up, you know, make sure nothing sticks. Remember it's a cast iron pan, it's holding the heat a lot more. So I'm at the lowest level right now and it's doing this. Everything is tip top magoo. When everything looks good, the onions browned out a little bit. It's time to add the Brussels sprout, but before, we're gonna add some salt on those bad boys. Salt and pepper on this Brussels sprout. And the Brussels, the Brussels sprouts are ready. They've been salted. Here's the trick. You take your Brussels sprout, you put the flat end facing down on the oil. Let it absorb the oil. Let it cook. I'm gonna even gonna lower the heat a little bit. One by one, I'm gonna place them down face first. And I want them to have a light brown color. Once they're light brown, I'm gonna pull them out. Remember, we're gonna eat, we're gonna heat this back up tomorrow morning. We've got the Brussels sprout in here. The important part is we don't overcook this. We wanna have them tip top magoo. Tip top magoo means you don't wanna have them overcook because you're gonna heat them up again tomorrow. So you wanna leave some juice in there. You're gonna recook stuff tomorrow. So don't overcook stuff. Cook it just enough, just before it's enough to eat right now. Unless you wanna eat right now like me, I'm gonna eat some now, I'm gonna eat some tomorrow. But I'm not gonna overcook it because I'm gonna reheat it tomorrow on my buddy heater. Now everything's gonna be tip top magoo because it's gonna be cooked properly. For those asking what tip top magoo means, you obviously don't follow my friend Joe Diaz. He has the best podcast on YouTube after Seabass Outdoor, of course. Now, the asparagus, we're not gonna cook together. The asparagus is just a side dish. This might be my breakfast. Make sure my pee is super yellow in the morning so you guys can track me down if I get lost. Smart. I cook that bacon way too much. I'm gonna break your feet on that. You take your asparagus, throw them in the pan, let them cook until they're at your cooking preference. Put them on the side. Tomorrow you're gonna cook asparagus. A little entree, you know? And then you get the pièce de résistance ready. Sprinkle a little bacon on here. There you have it. You have your dish set and ready to hit the ice tomorrow. If you're not tired of me yet, follow me on the ice. We're gonna go and cook it. I'm gonna show you how to cook it on my buddy heater. So we got it packed up. Let's go ice fishing now. All right, you got me with the heater here. Obviously, we're gonna use this to kick the stuff we made yesterday. But like a rookie, I left the butter at home. So I should be fire off this show right now. But I'm hungry, so we're gonna do it. What I'm thinking is I'm gonna cook the, the bacon first. It's gonna melt some grease, and then we're gonna put la bacon salade, whatever it's called. I actually don't know what this dish is called. So if you do know what it's called, comment down below and educate me. Not inside my hut, so I'm trying to wrap it around so it keeps the heat there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the bacon that's not fully cooked. Remember, we didn't fully, fully cook it. And I'm hoping it melts. It's also gonna hold. You see Josh in the background running? He's just running back and forth to his step up. Is it running still, bud? I can hear my bacon sizzling here. Luckily, we have no wind today. So I'm gonna wait for my bacon to sizzle. Sizzle! Did you get it? Josh has lost about five on a tip up over there. I spread that fat from the bacon on guys, here. Guys, I should smell the aroma coming off the bacon. So I'm gonna take my Brussels sprouts. They're gonna take a while to cook. 
my ends are clean, don't worry. I touched about 15 fish today. But we're men and we'll survive. Apparently, uh, very important that you lift up the aluminum or the side of your unit's gonna melt off like this. Don't be a rookie. All right, so I got Joshy here. He's gonna rate this meal. Don't worry about the asparagus, they're just cooking on top. Grab a piece of bacon and... Bacon's good. Bacon is good, really good. How about it? We have both together though. Mm -hmm. So because you grab a piece of bacon, Mm. Ooh. Ah. So good. That is really good. And then, so you gotta rate this out of 10. 10 being, if you go to death row, that's what you'd eat on your last meal. So obviously it's not gonna be 10. Seven and a half. Seven and a half? Yeah. yeah. Seven, one, seven and a half. That's yeah. a lot of flavor. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like it's just considering you're cooking it on a bunny heater. Yeah. It's tipped out my goo. You go to death row and you don't ask for bacon on your last meal, you should have died before that. <laughs> ah, fourth degree burn. We're okay. Ah, such a knob. That's it. That's as simple as, as as doing this. You gotta put a little effort into it. Me and Josh are catching lake trout. Caught a nice walleye, caught a nice lake trout. We're getting into fish and we got the lake to ourselves. Literally. The lake to ourselves. I haven't seen one guy ice fishing. I mean, we put the time. We walked how long to get here? You know, at least an hour. Yeah, an hour, hour and a half.